Well, hello there. I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I have a rather silly ice cream truck card for you. And I'm part of a blog hop, so stay tuned for more information. Well, Ellen Hudson and Catherine Pooler realized they both have some fun ice cream sets and thought it would be a good idea to try to combine them. And I wanted to color that truck really badly. And I love the hands from Ellen's set with ice cream. And there's ice creams in both of them. There's lots of fun things you can do with these two sets. But I grabbed a whole mess of Copic markers. Yeah, I always have a big handful. I know it's big when I have to kind of lean things against my hand to take this picture because I've used too many colors. And I started by stamping my two images on a piece of Nina cardstock. I'm going to be cutting them out so I don't really have to actually stay in the lines because I'm going to fussy cut them out. There are dies for both of these stamp sets, but for this one, I wanted to be able to have them cut all the way to the edge. So I am going to do some crazy fussy cutting. And one of the themes for this as well that Catherine Pooler has been going on about is crafting on the go. And that's all I saw about it at first, that it was crafting on the go. So I'm making an interactive card. I did not realize she meant like taking something with you to craft. Well, you can do that by making something like this, like stamping something that you're just going to do the coloring portion for and then do the assembly at home. Because the rest of this card really is not something you'll assemble on the go. But the coloring part you could certainly do. I decided to use pinks and teals for my ice cream truck and create some depth and shadow. Not a ton of it because this is supposed to be a truck. It's not supposed to necessarily be the real ice cream cone. So I'll smooth some of that pink out and eliminate a little bit of the, the strength I got there up in that ice cream cone because it would normally be a flat ice cream cone. But my idea for this card was kind of you have to kind of be in my head to understand it possibly, but I'll see if I can explain. I am an ice cream fanatic and lately I have had an ice cream thing. You might've noticed my channel is full of ice cream videos lately and I drew a whole ice cream Sunday, which I will link at the end of this. It was a crazy Copic drawing I did. I love ice cream. And I recently discovered as well, Tillamook's white chocolate raspberry. If you've not had it, oh my gosh, Either go get some because it's delicious or don't get it because you'll eat the entire half gallon all at once because it's so good. My Toastmasters club has had low attendance and I decided to bribe everybody by having an ice cream bar. So I got, a, got out a whole bunch of fruit and, you know, little granola things and chocolate chips and stuff. And then I went and bought two half gallons of ice cream and this Tillamook thing was one of them. And oh my goodness, like my head about came unglued when, <laughs> when I tried it because it was just so good. Yeah, I know. A little crazy. But anyway, I am the person who always wants to stop the ice cream truck. So that's the other half of the story. Part of it was loving the ice cream. The other part is wanting to stop the ice cream truck that runs down my street. There's actually a guy that lives a few houses down who drives the ice cream truck in my neighborhood. And so I hear the little ding, 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 ding as he drives down the street and it drives me nuts because I really want to go out and get some ice cream. However, what I can do now is tell myself, you know, I don't want just that ice cream, the ice cream in the truck. I want the white chocolate raspberry because that stuff is so good. I'm normally like a chocolate ice cream fanatic, not a like fancy type of flavor person. I like just plain old chocolate with whatever on top of it. And this stuff has really got me changing my mind because it's so good. So anyway, I'm just coloring through the picture here. The coloring is not the important part of this one. It's the interactivity and how silly this card is going to be that is going to uh, hopefully be the exciting and fun part of it. So with the hand, I colored the arm longer because I wasn't sure exactly where I was going to place it, whether I was going to have the hand come in and like grab the ice cream off the top or what, but I did decide to make the hand stop the ice cream in a different kind of a way. So having the longer hand still works for the ice cream thing, but I'm going to worry about that later as I get further on. I wanted to have a scene for my ice cream truck to go in. 
And notice that I filled in the part around the wheels when I did my coloring and I fussy cut around so I have that black line down below. That's so that it sort of disappears into the road that I'm coloring. So I'm just gonna do some strips across that are gonna be a road. I'm gonna do a really simple, simple background. I know some people will look at this and say it was a crazy background, but it's really actually quite simple. I lined up my truck at the beginning to see where my road would be and made just a strip of black that melts into a strip of a warm gray. And just kept that really simple, a strip of green grass and then some green for trees. Now you could make your trees go all the way up the entire card if you want. I'm gonna leave a little room for some sky up at the top. But one of the things I realized when I used this color, I don't even remember what color, sorry I didn't write down the colors for this background, is that that was too bright. I wanted the brightness maybe that strip of bright grass, but the brightness of the truck to be the important thing, because otherwise the background was going to compete with it. So I just went over top of it with other colors to make the trees a little bit more desaturated and then alter them a little bit so I'd have different types of trees, different colors of trees mixed in together, and just let them be blobby. And don't stress out about them. They're in the background. Let them just be loose and blobby. Double checked my truck to make sure it's going to look right going across that card and then decided to add some sky after all. I wasn't going to in the beginning, but I decided it would be a little bit fun to add some blue blue sky and then a little bit of clouds. I went a little bit over crazy with the lighter blue, so I just added a darker blue to deepen the sky portion and it made the clouds pop more. So there you go. Now for the interactive portion of the card. I'm using Ellen Hudson's die set that has all kinds of different sliders in it. I used the long one, but you could also use the short one. And I made four little circles. And on two of them, I put little tiny slits of this dimensional adhesive. And they have to not be wider than that opening. And then put the other two on the other side. Now you could just glue the truck to the other side. But I find that it's a little bit easier to put this thing together if I make the slider portion first, make sure that works, and then adhere the item onto the other side of it. Just use thin cardstock for that so you don't add too much to the layers. And then I'm adding it to black cardstock for my card base so that it I don't have to worry about coloring the black inside of the opening there. Using some Be Creative tape on the back of my little truck, I have my circles lined up so they're the right width that it's going to work, and then check to make sure everything slides across the card. And now for the hand, the giant hand to stop the truck. It's on dimensional adhesive, and I had colored it so I had extra room for that arm to be a little longer, and I can just increase the black line there just a little bit. And I wanted to figure out how to make that hand catch it. So I decided to cut off those fingers sticking out and glue them down a little bit below. So now there's a gap in between the thumb and the hand and you can see it stops the truck. So you've got this, you've got this truck, you've totally stopped it. Seemed like a perfectly appropriate and silly type of sentiment. I'm not sure anyone will get it, but when I send the card to somebody, maybe I'll explain it to them, who knows? The last step is, of course, adding some white pen, because I like to let white pen dry, if at all possible, and uh, I like to tend to put it on as the last step. So there we go. Everything's all decorated up. I added a little bit of motion lines, as well as a road line, to my card with that white pen as well, and it's just silly and fun that the ice cream truck is stopped by my giant hand. So this is a blog hop. Make sure you stop by my blog to go pick up the other links and see who else is making fun and crazy stuff. Theirs will have tips for crafting on the go, perhaps, even though mine doesn't. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.